What we've got here is uh, we're going to do an example for you of Lanka 6. Now all our Lankas are shown on the Paladin Press video fighting footwork. And Lanka 5 is a combination of 1 and 3. They're odd numbers, 1, 3, 5. Lanka 6 is a combination of Lanka 2 and Lanka 4. Even numbers. There's a couple of ways you can do this. We're dealing with my opponent who is in a left lead, going to fire a right punch. As he fires the punch, I move in, hack into his neck. This would be a hacksaw that we explain in our other videos. This keeps him in place. Doesn't always knock him back. When the head goes, the body follows. If I hack into his neck, his head's going to come down this way to protect his neck. From this position now, okay, I've got to move him back. For whatever reason, I've got to move him back. It's not my plan to do the leg work. It's like maybe his buddy is coming up right behind him to help him. So I smash him with the elbow, and as he steps back, now I come in closer. I'm now in my twist stance. I can smash it again, lock the leg, I can pull on the neck, elbow the head. There are thousands of things you can do at this point. But we just keep walking, we're raising everybody, and we just keep adding the legs to it as we go. That's the first way to do it when you hit him and he doesn't move back. Let me show you another way. We're going to do it now where the person from the hacksaw unit are knocking you back. Why is that? Because sometimes in class, you notice you're training people, and you grab the guy and you sink it in, and he goes, ah, because he's not used to being grabbed. Well, most of the creeps in the street, they're not used to taking this blow in the neck. And it might just knock him back with the adrenaline in you, and you hit him really hard. So I'll show you how you could work the same drill. He fires the punch, I move across, I hack him in the neck, and he moves back. Now, if you were doing the drill, You'd practice, you'd feed this across, and you'd lock in. But the fact is, I've already knocked him back. I don't have time to do this. That's all right for a drill, but it's not good for application. So once I've done this and he steps back, I just move right in. Again, I get low, and I get close. I love you, man. I hate to kill you, but you're going to die. You know, that's the whole idea. I want to be this close. Then I can smash, continue through. The same thing I did with the other. So if you want him to go back and he doesn't, at an elbow. If you hit him and you were surprised that he went back, stick to him. Close the gap. That's our application for long and six.